the design tourists travel to New York City to attend Surtec, the ultimate source for licensing original artwork that ends up in your home. People are far more confident. They're willing to experiment a little more and they're going beyond just changing the pillow on the sofa, which right. was kind of, or a towel in the bathroom. Right. And it's sort of how it started, and, and they're thinking, I'm going to paint to my room. What I see happening um, in the world of color is actually twofold. So we're seeing gray evolve, so we're seeing really beautiful lavender tones that are being added to it. It's being offset by sepias and just some very sophisticated neutrals happening. And then at the same time, sort of a, a counter trend to that is really bright color too. So we're seeing a lot of saturated color, a lot of optimistic color. Deep, dark grays have been, it's a part of um, the way that I present my artwork, but I think that bright colors look so beautiful next to them. So we're seeing a lot of very dark, dark backgrounds that are setting off the vibrancy of many other colors, mint, green, peach, gold, and metallics. People are also discovering if they're working with neutrals, they're learning more about the, the nuances that they can create. So they may, let's say, do gray, right. but they'll have a pale icy gray and a dark charcoal and a medium gray, and they may even mix a cool and a warm in the same place. So there are levels of neutrality, which then give it a different energy. There's so much happening in DIY today, so everyone wants to feel like their designs are one of a kind. So even if they're going into the store and they're purchasing an item that is mass produced, imperfect is the new perfect. So our techniques are different. Um, if we're out of the line, it's okay. It doesn't matter if we want to block print something and make it a little bit more irregular. It's almost better. We're seeing like brush stroke or brush strip font. Um, hand-lettered quotes in a lot of places, a lot of different calligraphic responses from artists. So it's really nice to do something that might be expected as far as motif goes, but unexpected as far as color goes. So we're seeing these light, romantic, sort of soft palette colors with pops of neon. And so I say goodbye to Soratex and all the talented artists and designers who bring beauty and style to our daily lives. Until the design tour is traveled again, stay tuned and stay inspired.